Welcome back Guardians to another Destiny video and in today's Destiny video I wanted to talk about how we need to nerf sidearms. I'm just kidding we don't need to nerf sidearms. Let's talk about the patch, the update, the new meta, all the new types of guns and what's happening in Crucible right now. Was it a mistake? Was it a good choice? Let's discuss. If you wish to join the conversation leave some comments down below. Tell me what you think of the current patch and the current weapon balance. What weapons are you seeing? What weapons are you enjoying to use? Hit me up in the comments down below. And if you take a couple of minutes just to finish off this video all the way to the end, I would highly appreciate it. And then you can make an informed decision on whether you want to hit that like button if you enjoyed. So let's get into it. The gameplay in the background you're seeing is one of my very first games I played on the new meta, trying to use a low rate of fire pulse rifle called the Parthian Shot. Now I wanted to talk about this specifically first off because I'm highly, highly disappointed that low rate of fire pulse rifles aren't as good as I was hoping they would be. They still seem very, very inconsistent. They still feel like they aren't anywhere near as viable as other weapons. But I have seen the improvement and can still kill people quite quickly with these weapons. But I just don't feel confident enough using one of these weapons to think that I'm going to get into a fight and I'm going to have a good chance of winning because they still get outplayed by a lot of other weapons, especially hand cannons. Hand cannons and sidearms seem to be what people are drawn to at the moment. And something like a low rate of fire Pulse Rifle really suffers in that close game against these types of weapons. And with the accuracy increase for hand cannons, I just feel like this weapon gets beat 9 times out of 10. Maybe it's just my Parthian shot, maybe it's just I'm not as good. But I have found that these weapons are not as enjoyable as I was hoping that they would be. So that is my opinion on low rate of fire pulse rifles. I wish they were just a little bit more accurate and a little bit more consistent. But the, I can see the improvement and that's great but just not enough of an improvement to be viable against all the new weapons that we are seeing. So, auto rifles. I have been an auto rifle player on pretty much any game I have ever played that includes auto rifles in some way, shape or form. And I was highly disappointed when auto rifles just fell out of favor in Destiny. But now they seem like they are in a great place thanks to this weapons update. I've used a couple of um, auto rifles. I'm going to be doing a live commentary later using the Suras regime. And they're in a great place because I don't feel like I'm always winning every single fight or they're overpowered like something like the Clever Dragon gave me. I feel like I actually am challenged to get the kills instead of just having high caliber rounds and a pulse rifle destroy people. It's fun, it's different and there's just variety in using auto rifles and above all else it's fun so I am super excited for auto rifles. When it comes to hand cannons, I see that a lot of skilled players are really unstoppable with hand cannons, which is both a good thing and a bad thing in a way. Good thing because, you know, no one's resigned to just using a pulse rifle like Clever Dragon. There's variety out there. There's different hand cannons being used. I've seen Hawkmoon a couple of times. Palindrome seems to be the most powerful weapon at the moment, as it has been for hand cannons for a long time. But I even seen like an ill will. I've seen other hand cannons coming out. I got killed by the first which was just insane so hand cannons seem to be in a great place and to and seem to be the most viable choice of weapon at the moment if you are accurate with your shots and i guess that's great um for me it's a marmite situation you either love it or you hate it i'm leaning on the side of loving it because i have improved with hand cannons but i kind of hate it as well because i get absolutely destroyed by people who know how to use hand cannons but i guess the meta will form around that and some other weapons will be found and picked up and maybe made to be able to battle against hand cannons. Some other changes like special ammo that appears every single 60 seconds and every time you die you lose your special. I absolutely love this change because there's a constant flow of ammo coming into the map every 60 seconds but if you die you lose that special ammo which is forcing people to have primary fights. Yes you can run and pick up the special ammo but you know you might be in a place where you can't get to a special ammo box you're in against the enemies and you have to fight with your primary weapon instead of resorting to just putting on a shotgun and demolishing everyone you have to think about your engagements you know your primary battles are more fun it's just a better way to 
play the game and i believe the game the way the game was meant to be played with primary weapons special hasn't been nerfed to the point where you'd never have it or you always have it it's just in that nice place now where you will have special ammo throughout the map as long as you're willing to go and find it and pick it up which is insanely fun in my opinion trying to find a special box that's nearby that's not being locked down by enemies you know trying to build your approach to a crucible game now has really changed because of the special weapon interactions so you know i've seen a big pull in sniper rifles coming back and shotguns have been lessened dramatically but because of this special change where you can't spawn with special ammo we have seen a massive massive rise in sidearms now this is a great thing i've always loved sidearms i've loved the idea of them i've always wanted them to be viable but at the moment i feel like they may just be a little bit too viable because they are absolutely everywhere but again it's good to see that there are different sidearms being used not just like a matador the wormwood seems to be the most apparent of all of the sidearms but i've seen you know iron reef i've seen the trespasser you know there's different weapons you're getting killed by and you know sidearms i can use as well because i wasn't that great with shotguns i'm not that great with sniper rifles i was just okay with them but with sidearms i feel like i have more of an advantage over my fights because it's more of an even play playing field when it comes to sidearms when you're fighting another sidearm rather than two shotguns fighting each other because when two shotguns fight each other it really comes down to the perks but sidearms pretty much all have the same perks and then it just comes down to actual skill with that weapon so i am happy to see sidearms on the rise but i feel like they just need to be stopped before they get too ridiculously overused and the best thing about this patch update is i haven't seen any deaths or kills with a shotgun <laughs> you know what i mean like that was the go-to thing that was like every corner you would turn there'd be someone jumping up in the air or sliding towards you i got absolutely wrecked at range by a matador um to like the range of a fondest fondest night melee like guns like that were just too viable and they had too much going for them and now they're at a point where they still can be used and people still are using shotguns but i don't feel like every time i get into a fight they're just going to pull out their shotgun and wreck me so i am super excited and super happy about where the weapons lie right now i'm going to be doing a live commentary just a little bit later with a Suras regime maybe with mouse and keyboard i haven't decided yet but i do want to try out these new weapons on controller before i get into pc so we'll just stick around till later and see if you enjoy that video too if you did enjoy this video please consider hitting that like button subscribe to this channel if you want more content like this let me know down below in the comments what you think of the new meta of the new weapon balance patch what weapons are you enjoying using make sure you leave a comment down below thank you for watching i've been easy now and you guys have been awesome <laughs>